of giving amongst young people within the community. So we're trying to enable people from taking to trying to give even a little bit, whether it's time, whether it's food, as you'll hear about in a bit, and uh, whether it's whatever one person can give to another. We currently provide food to over a thousand people every single week, that's Jewish and non-Jewish people, so probably about four times the amount of people who are sitting here today. And we currently have over 500 active volunteers in any one given week. We've got branches in London, in Birmingham, Manchester, today from, in Liverpool, and soon to be in Leeds as well, in different parts of the country. Besides the, these food boxes, we also do toy projects, which we're going to be doing in the King David Primary School. We go to homeless shelters, we go to asylum seeker centres, we have a programme whereby we send people into different homes to help whatever's necessary. We go to old age homes and we do social action trips. Just wanted to thank you all for listening to me today. Um, and I'm going to pass you over to Chris. So Gordon. Gordon. Gordon.
Um, in Jewish law, when a child, well, not in Jewish law, when a child's born, that's nothing to do with Jewish law, right? When a child is born, I have, I have a seven-month-old child at home. And a child of seven months old, of two months old, my child, I often tell my students, it, my child is one of the most selfish beings on planet Earth, right? Every time he wants a snappy change, he's crying. He wants a bit of milk, he's crying. Constantly, constantly crying. I want to sleep, I'm absolutely lacking, forget it, he's crying. There's no concept that I may exist, my wife exists, that we may have a life outside of our children. No concept of that. And the idea is that as a child grows up, we teach a child, we teach our children the same way that your parents have you put it for yourselves, that you have to give to society as well. And as I said, the Jewish law, when you put your, whenever you put your finger in a child's hand, you have nieces, nephews, younger brothers, sisters, whatever it may be, when you put, a, when you put your finger, a pen, whatever it may be, you give to a little baby, a little baby will, will grasp it. Right? Always. It's the law of nature. We'll always go and grasp it. And in Jewish law, when one is buried, according to Jewish law, there is a burial society, which I belong to, and they would always put your hand open, flat. And it's very, very symbolic why they do that. Because a child comes into this world, and a child thinks, what can I get out of the world? What can I take? What can I grab? What does the world have to offer me? I want a better job. I want a better car. I want a better holiday. I want a better. I want a better whatever it may be. And when one passes away, when one leaves this world, our hand is open because ultimately it's only about what we gave away. I remember when the recession hit. I'll tell you a personal story when the recession hit, and I'm involved somewhat in fundraising for different organisations, and I went to see someone who previously gave me a rather large check, right, in Manchester. And he said to me, he said, you know what, on paper I've lost hundreds of millions of pounds. But he said, my only investments that I still have are the organisations which are running thanks to my money today. And you know what, it's not nothing to do with money. I personally ain't got any of it. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are. Everyone can give to someone who doesn't have what they have. Everyone can give. I, there was a certain student in this school who went through a very diff difficult time once they left the school, should be known to a few people here. And she wrote from her sick bed, she sent me an email. And in an email she said, I'm going through such a tough time. She unfortunately had a tremendous, she had a terrible illness. And she wrote, I'm going through a, such a tough time. But you know what, there must be other people who go through a tough time and don't have family and friends around them. There are people in terrible situations. We are able to give up our time and of ourselves. And today in Liverpool, which is a community that I believe in, the people that I believe in tremendously here in Liverpool, a place I love dearly, is we're launching Give. And let me explain to you the practicalities we've heard from everybody else. The idea of giving, the practicalities that follow. These two gift boxes will remain in the school. You can bring in any non-perishable good. Non-perishable means anything that doesn't have, well, everything's got a sell-by date, but nothing that's going to go off within the next day. So what the idea is, you bring in any food, it doesn't matter whether it's kosher, it doesn't matter whether it is, is kosher, isn't kosher, it doesn't make a difference. Bring in whatever food you want from home, Ask your parents, if you're in, if you're anyway going to the shop, you're going to Tesco, you're going to St. Bruce, you're going to Asda, you're going to, it doesn't matter where you're going. It can be toiletries as well. Whatever you want. Bring it into school, a can of soup, a pack of baked beans, a pack of pasta, a ketchup, it doesn't matter what it is. Put it in the box here. There's one here, there's one there, they will be in, hopefully in the dining room, maybe one here in the hall. Put it in, when you bring your lunch anyway, and you bought a packet of crisps, bring an extra packet of crisps. What we will hopefully do, we need volunteers, Maybe if, you're, if you are interested in volunteering, please come to myself afterwards or come to one of your form, form tutors afterwards. And the idea is going to be is that once a month we will hold a packathon in one of the classrooms where you will pack the bags up. And we've teamed up with something called the Whitechapel Homeless Centre, which is Whitechapel basically is, is, distributes 50 meals a day to people living on the street. People who aren't as fortunate as us, for whatever reason, we don't sit in judgment of anybody, but for whatever reason they can't afford it, they haven't, given the, they haven't been given the opportunities that we have in our lives. If you know anyone who's struggling with faith and use our help, let us know as well. And we're more than happy to help them. And we're going to distribute through White Chapel all the food for the homeless people of Liverpool. Together with the NJCC, which is the Merseyside, side, the Jewish side of things, we will distribute the, the kosher food to Jewish families in need. And that way, hopefully, we can work on homeless needs. And we work on giving. And as I say, when we look at the end of our lives, we're 70 years old, and we've been tremendously successful. As, someone, as Mr. Globe says, you can look back on... 30, 40 years of giving, there's tremendous pride in that. There's tremendous pride that I live with outside, outside of myself and I know how to give. So I wanted to, uh, that, that lead down, I wanted to say thank you so much to Mrs. Smith, Mr. Bullard, who are yet standing in the back. 
thank you for helping us to make it a reality here in Liverpool. Obviously, thanks to Shimon. I see that Mr. Ian Cohen, who is the vice chairman of Mr. Gordon Globe, another person who works tirelessly and gives tirelessly, has thank you for coming in as well. And I thank you for listening. I thank you for coming. Make a difference. Go home. Find something. You'll get the letters. Go to your form tutors. I'm only looking for a handful of volunteers to make sure we can coordinate it. 10 or 15 or so. You can make a difference. Don't look to the person next to you or the person behind you or the person too over there. They're the goodie. There, they'll do it. Sometimes we've got to stand up. We've got to be a man. We've got to be a woman. We need to stand up and say, the buck stops with me. I'm going to make a difference. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful day. Okay, we're done.